Got ourselves the old contour body assembly here. And that hole should be about that size. Um, yeah, like, yeah. So we'll fix that. So you'll notice the big pile of green. Yeah, that sucked. Watched it happen. I wish it was something as easy as we missed the hopper, but we did not. Dad was filling and, you know, we didn't pick the most level spot in the world to set our bagger. There's really not a whole lot of level out here, at least with easy access. But what happened is kind of the opposite of what's happening right now is the bag had been slipped all the way up against this bar and the grain's really dry. It's like remarkable how dry it is. And it had kind of started to fill back in here a bit and push back and it was catching, like this outside one was bulging and it ended up catching on a, there's a hook right there. So that sucked. Never had that happen before, but we've also never, never done it at quite the angle we got going on. Well, I'm not really sure if I'm happy about this or upset or conflict. I know I'm conflicted. Uh, they were supposed to build up this road last year. I'm happy they didn't last year because it was wet. But they were also supposed to do this a few weeks, like back in July. It's now September and they're starting. Which it needs built up, but effectively this road is closed to everybody but us right now. You can see they got buggies over there. They've stripped off some dirt. That's where they're getting clay is on the other side of those. They built this approach, which is neat. So they started building from the highway. They're building up a little bit there. Right in front of us is probably the lowest spot on the whole, wow, on the whole road, pretty much. This is like an overflow. So they're gonna put some big culverts in there too and bring that up a couple feet, which makes our logistics a lot more difficult if this road is closed. Good news, we got done our wheat last night, which means that we're done our cereals. We had four different cereals this year, really three and an AB. So we had Durham, we had barley, we had Brandon spring wheat, and then we had um, Wheatland spring wheat. Both of those are hard red. So we're done cereals, so that's good. The bad news is we got rain last night. I know it sounds weird to call it bad news. Um, it's really not gonna help anything other than going into the ground and actually kind of slowly replenishing reserves. We got a long way to go on that, so we'll take it. Cuts down the fire risk, so we'll take that. But we were hoping to get into canola today. It's, whew, it is just muggy and gross. They're only saying like, high 24 today i think it's already there and it's like nine in the morning might have to go change into shorts uh so we're taking advantage of a, a down morning and probably day we're gonna get some equipment moved around and we're gonna get the combines ready to go Ed's over there just blowing some stuff off of his combine i'm over here working on my combine uh, so far, I've changed the concaves. We fueled her up. We blew out the air cleaner. I have to blow out the rad. And... Ooh, I got to see if I can find some window adhesive because my little camera monitor fell off. And what else? Um, oh, I got a couple of guards that need retuning. Guys that have been bent up and one broken section to replace 
Yeah, concaves, oh my god, is that such an easy job now compared to what it used to be? Like, if I was really moving and we had two guys, we could do it in about 35 minutes. <clears throat> now that we only have to change the front set, I did it myself and it took seven minutes. And that included carrying everything from there to here and back. So, yeah, I, I'm really digging that. Really digging the mad concaves. Uh, as, as far as on dad's machine, most of the same stuff, we'll check the header, but he needs a new chain, a couple new chains here. So we'll probably get that taken care of. And what else? I doubt he'll need to blow his out. Oh, we think we might have broken a shear plate on the header possibly. We'll have to check that out. Done. Got everything, everything done, changed out. Just having a quick look at how the auto float's going to work. Where we've got, or sorry, the contour buddies work with the header float at what we've got it set. Tilt it up. Yeah, go to A. Oh, either way. Yeah. We about. Pin. A little bit shorter than we'd like to cut. Well, we got construction going on. Oh, I guess Dad must have locked up the header. I will be back. Okay. All sorts of construction going on down there. They got two buggies, two graders, and about a D8 or nine. They're moving at an impressive rate, to say the least. But we're over here, about to get started into the canola. So they're, they've promised down there to start working at the highway to our farm first and leaving as much as they can and so what we're going to try and do is combine enough to fill the bins in the yard and hopefully get a couple of loads out kind of thing yeah what's going on there dad there we go so yeah we're kind of working with the construction guys trying to make do Threshing out pretty good. I thought it'd be a bit chunkier. Yeah, one of the big things is we just want to make sure we get the combines with the headers on where we're not having to drive around a 25, I don't know how many yards, at least 25 yard buggies. So we've been, we, I was watching and we were able to time this. We had about a three or four minute window there where it worked. This is pretty good. It's definitely a touch on the chewy side. But really. Um, yeah, I thought there would be bigger chunks of stock out the back. That's good because, you know, they're still pretty green. They haven't bleached all the way down. So that, 
right now we're just carving out a little area to start parking stuff and be ready i don't think it'll be i'm, I'm sure the canola seeds probably more than dry enough but we're going to get a sample as well to test and then we'll probably call the guys this afternoon once we've got everything moved around and ready to go and yeah and one weird thing is neither me or dad can remember which way this was sewed and i would think by now we would have our answer we're a couple hundred feet in so yeah it's east and west he was thinking it might have been north and south i'm sitting there going, i i don't remember because i sprayed burn off here and then he sprayed in crop and then we didn't spray any fungicide and we got the spray planes out here to uh to desiccate so we're not it looks like it's east and west yeah i'm thinking i should have went the other way Ooh, that's a good rock